Hello, this is Paul with Logics Magazine. And we help you go from being a self-taught beginner to a paid automation professional. And how we're going to do that today is we're going to talk about, I'm, I'm going to try to help you sell yourself being self-taught. Yeah, that's a big, big one there. So a lot of what it's going to take for you to be able to sell yourself to a big brand, having been, been self-taught, a lot of that is going to be the formula that I lay out um, in some of my other videos, right? So you need to you need to build the, the proper skill set. Self taught doesn't give you the the permission not to be as skilled as necessary to do the job and or better. Remember, you're going to be competing against other applicants. Really be diligent about your skill set. Then you need to build a strong portfolio of projects that you've done. And you're really proud of that portfolio. You want to, before you really gain the confidence that you're going to need, I would recommend that you send that portfolio out and let other people see it so that they, you can get some feedback, some ideas of how to make it better. So that you can, you know, you know from having spoken to other um, automation professionals that what you got works, it's solid, and you can be proud of that. All right. Then the third and final element is you got to build that network that way you can make that connection now once you have that the the key here is that you you need the right perspective about selling yourself so you got the three components you know skill set portfolio network right so we're building that network we make that find and make that connection then what we want to do is we want to we want to Make sure that our mindset's in the right place when trying to sell ourselves. And really, um, not, I'm not maybe not being an expert at this because I have been married for 34 years, but in a way, I want to put it to you in a way that hopefully you can relate to. It's like dating. Are you, are you dating for a short-term relationship or are you dating to marry? And they're different, right? At least I'm told on the dating side that it's different than being married. So... Once you make that connection, you want to make a true under relationship, right? That means you have to you have to be aware of a couple of uh, components, especially when being self-taught, right? <clears throat> and this is very important to understand, right? And you want to have this little formula I'm going to share with you in the back of your head as you move and connect with people and have conversations about opportunities. All right, so I outlined this in several of my other videos, but you know, an interview or any relationship all comes down to the first step generally is um, kind of convincing that you could be a good fit, right? The resume is not going to do it. They're going to want to meet you. They're going to have to talk to you. They're going to want to, you know, sense you and feel you out. Uh, and large part of that, the first step was always, could this person actually have the skill set to do the job? Portfolio is going to help answer that. Okay, By itself, it's not enough. Portfolio is the skin of a car. It's not the motor. There's a whole lot of elements that go behind it. But um, it is the skin of the car. And I'll give you an example. A lot of portfolios don't get more than three to minutes tops review. No matter how many good quality videos and, and documents you have on there, Nobody's just, they're just not going to sit and watch all that, go over all that material. So it's this skin that's not enough. All right. But if you follow this formula, this is really important. The next part is, and the most important part is you want to consult with them. What are the challenges they're having? What are they going through? What, you know, try to understand where they're at. Um, very important. All right. Very important that you try to understand them. And it's just like in a, in a dating scene. You know, don't talk about yourself. Let them talk. Listen to them because you want to make sure you're going to marry them. You want to make sure it's a good fit. You're taking in information and then you're assessing it based on where you're at in your life and say, hmm, I think that could be a good fit. Listen during your conversation. And you want to check that that relationship could be a good fit, that there's an opportunity for you. And then you move into the contract or negotiation phase of that relationship, right? Where you seal the deal. Okay, so selling yourself. Is all about having confidence that your portfolio and your skill set is very, very strong. Okay, that it has been reviewed by other automation professionals, and you know that it is that it is a good set of material. 
that your material is very solid and that you're clear about where you could be a good fit in side of a company. And obviously you're pursuing the right kind of company. All right. Um, I'd say that the next very crucial part, and I'll reiterate it really, really. So you got convinced and that means portfolio has been reviewed. You've got the confidence, self-esteem that it, it will do the job. The next I gotta, I'm just going to reiterate this again. It's about consulting. It's about listening to them. All right. Now, this video uh, may not answer all your questions. It can't. I have so many things in my mind I want to share with you, but I'm trying to streamline you about selling something. And I connect it to dating and marrying. Spend most of your time listening. Once you have that connection, however you make it, that's a separate video. How to make a connection and how to meet anybody so that you can have a conversation with them. We're gonna do that upcoming. But the most important is once you've made that connection, how do you sell yourself? And the best example I can give you is selling yourself to marry someone. I hope that makes sense. Obviously, you gotta convince them you can do the job. Obviously, you've got to listen, not talk about yourself, but listen. And be prepared to answer questions, obviously. Don't hide behind asking questions, but Listen, ask intuitive, insightful questions. What you're trying to do is get, get information as to where you might be a good fit. Okay, listen and consult. Get the feedback, ask questions, dig deep, dig deep, all right? And then follow that up with checking, verifying that what they're saying and what you're thinking is a good fit. Sometimes that might take a, a day or so to, to kind of check out a few things, but check and verify. And then you'll move into the seal the deal or the contract phase. What I've done with, for you, hopefully, is I have shared a formula for you. Now, there's, there's the connection. So you're going to connect how you're going to connect with somebody. You're going to find them. We're going to do another video on that. Then we're going to talk about how do I sell myself? This is a, this is a hiring manager for a large company that you know hires PLC programmers. How do you have how do you have that conversation? How do you sell yourself as a self-taught professional? Right? And really the convincing part is knowing that you've done the work. If if by chance you you present yourself well, you have offered up uh, the opportunity for them to review your portfolio, you have great references, everything's good. I assure you there's only going to be two things that will stop you. Either they don't have an opportunity or they have some, some barriers over some particular education or training or certificates that you might not have. Other than that, they are going to need somebody who can do the job. And that's, that's it. Uh, if you get past that convincing part and then you find out you're a good fit and all that. But very important. Have the confidence. I've done the work. I've, my, my portfolio has been reviewed. Now you're going to consult and I know I reiterate this, but I'm trying to get this into your head that you want to consult with them and you want to try to understand where they're at and the challenges they're facing and see if you're, you check to see if there's a good fit before you seal the deal. Consider it dating, right? Or, or moving into marriage. Very important. Once you have that mindset, then when you sit down, you don't need to be nervous about anything. You have a formula to follow. You know the procedure. And do not be ashamed or afraid of the fact that you are self-taught. Okay, there's a lot of benefit from being self-taught versus the traditional route. So long as you put in the work to acquire a very solid skill set. All right, I hope this helps. There's a lot to unpack here. But I try to give you a very simple formula that you could use to sell yourself as a self-taught automation professional. All right, so until next week, which we're going to do the uh, building a portfolio and what that looks like, what a portfolio should look like, and how to use it, all right, in this um, when searching for a job opportunity. All right, so until next time, this is Paul with Logic Magazine. Hey, first time here, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell. Ask any questions and share this video if you find it valuable. All right, so until next week, this is Paul with Logic Magazine.